Hi guys, I'm Philip English from RoboPhil.com. Now on this video, we're doing an interview with Neil C. Jacobson from Mobile Industrial Robots. That's MIR for short. We managed to speak to Neil C. at the Inner Robo 2015 Robot Exhibition in France, Lyon. MIR specializes in user-friendly and flexible automated internal transport and logistics solutions. The MIR 100 robot optimizes workflows, freeing up staff, resources, and allowing you to increase productivity while reducing costs. Well, hi guys, uh, it's Philip English. So uh, again, we're at the Inner Robo today and we're speaking to lots of different people. Um, and we've got a new person for you and a new uh, solution as well that I think is really, really cool. Um, so I've got a gentleman here who's going to introduce himself and introduce the company. So, so. Yep. My name is uh, Nilsen Jacobsen. I come from this company called Mobile Industrial Robot. Okay. For short, just Mir. Mir, okay. And we love that name because the robot should mean peaceful, cooperating machines. Sounds good, sounds so, good. So it's all basic, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we are a new company. We are just uh, two years old. And we just introduced our first product this autumn called Mir 100. So it's basically just a robot for doing internal transportation. So it's totally autonomous, it's very easy to set up, it's easy to use, and it's very cost efficient. And based on that, we hope to find a really broad market to opening up the whole mobile uh, robotic usage that have been laying still for so many years. Okay, yeah, which is it. I mean, um, I think that we've seen um, a lot of robots start to go into some of the hospitals over in the UK, um, one of the big ones it was over in Scotland where I think they put a fleet of something that looked just like this, uh, I think they got a fleet of about 20 on there, but like your product seems, um, I, I believe like price range is a bit better and obviously it seems quite easy to use and seems quite friendly as well. So, yeah. so that was the whole basic idea that everyone should be able to use it, it's not an engineering product, it's a product for, for the end user, so we call it like a mobile phone area. So everyone should be able to use it. You don't need to have a PC or whatever. So we have a simple user interface if you want that, and much more advanced one if you use that. So it just depends on your level of of needs, actually. Well, this is, this is it. I mean, and if it's going to be guys in the warehouse who are going to be using them, or maybe nurses and staff, they may not have the software skills, you know, and those quite detailed skills that you need to fully program a robot so ma making it a nice easy solution and easy friendly robot to use is brilliant you know it's what we really need sort of thing so um, so like give us some some information about the specs of it I mean like like how fast can it, can it go okay so robots go 1.5 meters a second okay. and you can say a person normally goes 0.8 about three kilometers an hour okay. so we actually speed it down a bit because our experience showed us that if the robot was going as fast as people, they felt threatened for it. Right. So, so we just go a little bit below normal average speed and people are satisfied and doesn't feel it's like coming up on their back. Okay. So that was a really good thing. And it's called Mir 100 because it has a loading capacity of 100 kilo. Okay. And right. it, the basic size is a half a euro pallet because that's a trade-off between it should be able to run in offices and, and light environment and also be able to go out in industrial environment. So if it was, was bigger, it could not come through the door. If it was smaller, you could not really use it for anything. Oh, I see, I see. Can you use them outside, or is it mainly for like inside? No, it's mainly for inside. inside and yeah. it's basically due to the sensors. Whenever okay. you come outside, sunlight is really a killer and you have rain and everything. So let's introduce them first indoor, and hopefully someone else will come outdoor. Because okay. I mean, um, I, I saw um, there was another type, that type of robot around here that, that had like a follow me sort of section. I mean, is, you, is, that, is that something for the future or something that the, the robot has got? Or? I think it's very easy to add on. So, yeah. so we had a project from some students who just did it for fun. Okay. So it's just really like uh, if there's a need for it, our integrators normally would have that because we're just providing the robot and giving this capability for opening up for all kind of additional application, different robots conveyor tracking whatever you like yeah. it, it's really it's really simple to, to put that on but it's all driven by user need yeah, okay yeah yeah well this is it I mean I mean you've developed the platform which I think is brilliant and then you know if the user if it's gonna be a hospital they use it one way a warehouse they're, they're gonna use it yeah. a different way so a full array so okay no that's right so okay. that, that's fine so um, thank you very much for the brief uh, overview thank you very much okay you're welcome 
Brilliant. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed the interview, and I want to say a big thank you to Nelson Jacobson from Mobile Industrial Robot for his time and the interview. If you want to learn more about the Mobile Industrial Robots and the Mir 100, I've put some links below for your review. Now, if you like this interview and want to see even more robot news, reviews, and tutorials, then please hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the latest videos that come out. If you have any questions or want to see a product review of a particular robot, then please write me a message in the comment section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.